Hi everyone! In my recent December empties, I showed you my progesterone cream and asked if anyone was interested in seeing a hormone replacement therapy video. I have never had such an overwhelming response of yes from all of you. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of knowledge. I don't claim to be, you know, the one-stop shop, but I will share the little bit that I know. There is definitely pros and cons to hormone replacement therapy. I have discussed things with my doctor and we felt that for me it was the right decision despite my family history, despite my own personal history and there's a lot of things that have to weigh into it. One of the things, well a couple of the things that weighed into it for me is I'm very very tall, very very slender in my bones and I'm probably very good candidate for osteoporosis. So I'm going to go through the pros and cons but that's one reason that they put me on or that my doctor and I that we decided I should be on the hormone replacement therapy and the other reason was I stopped having my cycle many years ago prior to when I was 40 and that's another indication. So I was getting hot flashes, I was worried about the loss of bone mass and stopping my cycle so young. Nobody can seem to agree on the risks and the benefits of hormone replacement therapy. There is definite risk, but apparently they're minimal. And then sometimes I've also heard they are benefits. So somebody will claim that it has cancer risk, which it definitely does in the breast cancer, but then I've heard that it's beneficial to other, reducing your risk of other types of cancer. So there's a lot of controversy. You definitely need to do your own homework and consult your doctor. I'm fortunate that my doctor is um, also trained in naturopath, and so she and I are able to have really good discussions and determine what's right for me. So some of the definite risks are heart disease, stroke, blood clots, and breast cancer. Some of the benefits that are undisputed are reduction of Parkinson's, dementia, anxiety and depression, and loss of sexual interest. Um, I think those are pretty clear in the pros and the cons. There's a lot of debate on some of the other pros and cons, so I won't get into all of those. Um, there's different methods of delivery of the products. This is a transdermal method, so I put it on my skin. I have to find a different patch every time I put it on to have it absorbed. You don't want to use the same area over and over again because that will cause a rash or sensitivity on that part of your skin. It's not an issue. You obviously have a lot of body, but when I'm tanning, I'm like, okay, where am I going to put this? And I'll put it like on the lower part of my back or on the neck or whatever. But that's the time when if you're self tanning, I run out of space to do this. Uh, what my doctor has done is sort of along the lines of Suzanne Summers' bioidentical hormone, which I would recommend that if you're interested, you read that book. Um, she takes my blood work and she sees what's in range and out of range. A lot of times as you get older, you need estrogen. I am very high on my estrogen, so I'm on progesterone. And she had me go on this initially. One teaspoon, I just kind of grab a little bit, rub it on every night. I immediately noticed an improvement in my sleep, hot flashes went away, I got my cycle back, and I wasn't moody, I wasn't depressed, everything returned great for about two years. And then I noticed some of those old symptoms coming back. So what I do now is counting my first day of my cycle as day one. From days 5 to 12, I do one teaspoon of this in the morning, and then days from 12 to 26, I do one at night as well, one in the morning and one at night. And so that seems to have helped. As my levels are changing, we keep reassessing of what I need. We have a wonderful place in Phoenix that mixes up the hormones for you, and I'm sure a lot of naturopaths will do this, and a lot of the hormone clinics. You have to find the place that's right for you, but we have a place that's called Mixtures in uh, part of Phoenix, and they will mix up exactly what your doctor says you need and work with you and uh, they can do it transdermally, they can do it on pills. There's also um, suppository rings, vaginal suppository rings. I think there's a lot of risk associated with those so I prefer this over anything else and I don't know as my journey progresses I might be changing to pills or something but right now this works and any mixture that I get would probably also be a cream that I would rub in. 
So the only other thing I wanted to say is my mom is extremely natural. She doesn't like taking anything that she doesn't have to. She is very granola and I was raised that way somewhat, but I'm probably quicker to take an aspirin if I have a headache or things like that. She has stayed extremely granola. She never did any kind of hormone replacement therapy. She's seen what I've gone through and what my sister's going through, and she now says if she had to do it over again, she would explore the hormone replacement therapy for herself. So that kind of said a lot to me, knowing how opposed to any kind of anything less natural. She was like, God intended women to go through menopause and it's natural and you shouldn't try and change it. I know what she's saying, but I also think that medicine has come a long ways. And for me, I didn't want to subject myself to sleepless nights, to moods, to insecurity, depression, um, hot flashes, you know, the bone loss, all the negative things that come with it as well. I thought, you know, if I can make this journey a little easier and maybe not dry out as quickly on my skin and everything, I'm going to embrace it. So that's the choice that I've made. Like I said, you need to talk to your doctor and figure out what's right for you because they need to educate you, take your family history and your own history into account and make the right decisions that are right for you. The best thing that I would recommend though is get a blood test and see where your levels are. The bioidentical hormone apparently can put you back to where you were in your 20s or 30s. They can get all of that replaced. Um, so I would definitely recommend that you go to a doctor who's open to that type of a hormone replacement that's willing to look at your blood levels. I wouldn't just recommend because you're a certain age, let's go out and start this. You might need estrogen instead of progesterone. You know, everybody's different. So you have to go and get blood work and talk to your doctor and determine what's right for you. I don't know if that was helpful, but I really appreciate your watching. And as always, if you have comments of your journey, your experience, things you think other women might benefit from, please share your knowledge below. I love to hear from you. And again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.